guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so love island uk starts in 30 minutes let's see what i can do but guys before i get into this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe you already know road to 30k Alrighty, guys so the episode starts off with kayla and aaron and of course the families are they're gonna have the video calls their family so of course kayla is going to mention the whole castle and royal situation it's so funny because the Americans say Casa, Casa, and I'm like, it's Casa. But anyways, <laughs> um, of course, she's nervous that her family are gonna are gonna bring up. That's a big part of their journey, and it's a big problem in their journey. So her bringing it up and just, you know, what I mean, making it a point of conversation, and he's getting annoyed and he's getting wound up, and you know, what I mean, he's getting upset about it. It's like, Aaron, you're not doing, you're actually not doing the right thing. And all you need to do is just shut up and listen. All you need to do is shut up and listen because the fact that you think that, of course, don't get me wrong, it must be somewhat annoying that it keeps on coming back up. But unfortunately, it's going to keep on coming back up. If Kayla's speaking to somebody and they get to say, well, like, if, you know me, when she hears it from Daniela, when she sees it at movie night, when somebody else tells her, now she's going to hear from her family. These are all, don't get me wrong, yes, it's the same topic, but it keeps on coming back up. So, of course, she's going to be pressed about it. And, of course, now her parents are going to have their opinion on it. Of course, that's concerning. So Aaron really needs to calm down and deal with accountability and stop being in his feelings and thinking everything's about him. He needs to just man up. He needs to man up. And Aaron needs to go where? In the bin. Because he, he needs to just realize that, unfortunately, this mistake is going to come up a, a couple more times. Either you're going to be in it and take it or you're not. But on different accounts, like even when he meets her friends, they're going to bring it back up. When they, he meets the parents again, they're going to bring, like, it's going to come up again and again and again. So if you're, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Okay. Serena and Cordell are speaking and I know, like, Serena and her mom speaking three times a day. I know they like this. They go like this. And I know she probably really, really wants to speak to her. Sounds like they really have a good relationship. And they're both nervous, equally nervous about their relationship and the, the path that they've been on and the journey that they've been on and are nervous that each of their families are going to feel some type of way about it but thankfully they said they're going to support each other regardless and i think that's good because even though like I've, I've, um, unless like the relationship was really really trash of course then let's not support each other but they know what journey they've gone through they know how they've come up from it so of course if you know, a family member needs convincing, they're prepared to do that. And I think that's good. They're a couple, they are a unit, you ride together. Then also, I just wanted to mention, Kendall and Nicole, even yesterday, they had the most non-controversial questions. So it was crazy that, yeah. Because of course, I, I said that they should get a chance because um, they were second place, but they didn't even have any spicy questions. But in key ways, um, people were sleeping, people that are in couples are Janae's, you know what I mean, on top of um, Kenny, Leah's on top of, um, what's his name, Miguel, mm, Miguel, honestly, I've been looking at him differently since that episode, guys, now, I don't see the Miguel, yes, no, no, that he wasn't always attracted, but I, I mean, when I see him, I look at him differently now, guys, I, I swear, I look at him differently, anyways, um, and then, why does it look like Rob is tickling uh, Casey's downstairs part? I don't even understand, like, you've only been, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not even trying to shame anybody, I'm just doing commentary now, but she's been in the villa, like, 24 hours, I don't even think I've seen enough of them, that, that chemistry, for him to be tickling her, I was confused, I was really, really confused, I just, I just thought it was a bit random, now, of course, I never watched season five, but at the same time, if he didn't come back from Casa, their connection must have not been that good, and I don't know who Cassie came back with, if she came back with anybody, but I'm like, it's not making any sense. Like, girl, you just came up in here. You could have got, you could have knocked one out before you came up in here. So she was doing a lot. And I'm just like, also like, you're not even doing it underneath the covers, which is crazy behavior. But anyways, that's what she decided to do. And then in the morning, they were like, oh, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Of course, our, um, Rob's already going to go tell his bestie Aaron, because of course, them two go together like this. Anything he knows, that's what I'm saying. When That's what I'm saying about the whole thing. Yeah, like, it's still the day, it's still morning time. And Aaron already knows that you were tickling her, tickling her, her, her cootie cat. However, you didn't know the nature of his relationship with Daniela. Boo. Her, well, that's what I'm saying. It's not making any sense. It's actually not making any sense. But it seems like they did maybe a little bit more than tickling. 
since she don't want anyone else to hear about it. She said she's very much so a man when it comes to this aspect of her life. Uh, guys that watch season, um, season five, is that true? Is she like a man? Is she like, I don't know, not, not emotionless, but is her nunny connected? Like, what's, what, what are we saying? Um, because please don't say that saying and then not be able to back her up and, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes, if that's not you, don't pretend it is you. But anyways, I don't know her, so I'm just going to carry on. So then the first person gets to see their family, and it's Kayla. And um, all that girl does is cry. I swear, all she does is cry, but thankfully, at least this time, it was valid. Her mum was saying that she was upset with Aaron, and of course, the whole Casa situation and then to top to put on top of it moving out and taking accountability crying and you know what i mean acting like he's the victim and stuff like that so but the, the parents definitely weren't harsh like she said she actually like, was boosting it up like oh yeah my mom she gonna be about it i'm not saying her mom wasn't about it but her mom definitely didn't drag him the way um she needed to not drag him but she needed to just say a little bit more than what she was saying and thankfully when the brother came out he was like can you stop crying please like can you stop? And I'm sorry, the brother needs an A plus and A star for that because you always cry. It's so annoying. Like imagine you know you're gonna meet your family and you still decide to wear makeup and then look at the way she, she was just makeup was just running, running, running. Like it was a lot. You should have come bare faces, bare faces because the makeup was running. No mascara. Makeup was running or waterproof at least. And then her sister for me, her sister was a real MVP. She was like, like Kayla, do you actually really like him? Kayla was like, yeah, that's my boyfriend. She was like. Oh, I like, oh, really? Like, the sister was like, I don't like him. Because, of course, who wants to see that for their sister? I'm sorry, if that was my sister, I'd be like, absolutely not. Like, I, we, I haven't seen enough for me to be like, oh, I like him now. I'm sorry, for me, Aaron hasn't done enough. Even the fact that they, they had that little spat in, earlier in the episode, that lets me know that man ain't learned from nothing. So we haven't even really seen true change behaviour. So it's problematic, but I'm with, the, I'm with the sister. She's young, but that little girl's wise, I could tell. Then Aaron comes and enters the chat and he apologizes. And yeah, they're very, very supportive of their relationship. So yeah, there was definitely you no know, dragging from her family members. And then Aaron's um, mom, mom, guys, wait, first of all, why is he calling his grandma abuela? I know abuela is Spanish for grandma, but because the grandma is so posh it's funny that he calls her abuela or abuelita i can't remember which one he said but like i'm not like of course he did say he lived in spain but i wonder if grandma speaks spanish as well because i don't know i just found it so funny because i was expecting her to maybe have some sort of an accent or some sort of, she is speaking the queen's english yeah grandma is posh okay so i just found that quite funny um but and then his brother was there yet they again they're very very supportive thankfully the brother was honest and said yeah you kind of made a dick of yourself and that, of course that is very much so true so somebody needed to say and i'm glad he did and of course um aaron can't conclude a conversation without talking about his amazing relationship with rob and how like it would be so difficult without him and how much he loves him and i'm like you're, you're supposed to be here talking about your coupling and you're here declaring your your, your love for aaron I mean, your, your love for Rob. It's just telling, guys. Even they, they love each other real bad. Then the next one is Nicole. Nicole and her mum look just alike. But her mum likes Kendall and her dad. And you could tell her dad really loves her because the fact that he was being emotional, you could tell he really, really loves her. And, um, I mean, he shows it. So I think that was very, very cute. She definitely seems like she has a really cute family. And then Kendall en enters. And, yeah, Kendall is very, very good with parents. I'm not going to lie. Like, the way he was speaking... Of course, if you don't know any other backstory, whatever, whatever, you just meet this guy for the first time, you would think he's super duper sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Kendall is good with the family members. He really is. And then for Kendall, we see his mom. And I'm sorry, guys. I knew Kendall wasn't all the way black. And I'm not saying, again, in, in terms of African-Americans, I understand that if you are half, you, you consider it a whole. I'm more than happy with that. I don't have no issue with that. But when I saw his mom, and then when she said her name was Neat, I was like... Neat is definitely giving me Indian vibes. So then I researched this, so N-E-E-T, -E and it comes up as a Hindi name. And I'm like, yeah, she kind of looks like, she looks Hindi or Indi she looks like she's from South Asia, so to speak. Um, so yeah, actually, of course, there's no issue with that. Mom's, his mum's beautiful. And the sister, 
baddie. The sister is a baddie. Oh my gosh. The sister is a baddie. Like, and she's like, she looks like she works out. She looks strong. Like, sister, like, honestly, they have such a beautiful family. Like, Kendall's good looking. Sister's good looking. Mom's good looking. Like, let me see what a daddy looks like. But anyways, everybody is so good looking. And cool, honestly, Ken Kendall is so sweet. And I think he really is genuine. And I think he's just like, he's almost like a kid in a candy store. Like, I think he's I don't know, I think Kendall is so sweet to me. I find him so sweet. Like, that whole Neeky thing, he was being Neeky in the beginning, but we've, we're finished with that now. I think he's very, very sweet, and he's saying that he loves Nicole. Now, I don't know if he's in love with him right now, but I mean, with her right now, because it's only been a month, but at the same time, let me not question it in terms of that respect. You could just tell at least he really, really cares about her. And um, yeah, I think he's very, very cute. For some of you guys that are saying that it probably is fake and they just want to win, Kendall and Nicole are not winning. So I'm looking at it at face value because them two are not winning. So let's just, that idea, let's wrap it up. Anyways, then we see Serena. And Serena has such a beautiful family. Honestly, her sister is beautiful, her niece, her brother. Like, she has a beautiful family. I'm sure she was quite sad that her mum wasn't there because that was the person she really wanted to see. But of course, like, if her mum just came out from surgery, she might not be up for the task to come on camera and talk, and which is absolutely fine. I thought, um, Serena's sister was so cute in terms of referencing Janae and Leah being really, really there. And I think, um, like the way in which she did it was different. The sister mentioned it. Whereas with, um, Aaron, he mentioned it. But anyways, because of course Serena has been going, has gone through a lot. And of course she had a great support system. Again, a lot of women, the stuff that she went through, she didn't put herself through it. Cordell was the one who did the madness, whereas Aaron did the madness. But anyways, guys, I'm not going to compare you. If y'all, if those that get it, get it. And those that don't, don't. Anyways, so I thought that was super sweet. And then even when she went back and told the girls, they were so happy and they were hugging. Um, that was very, very cute. That was very, 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 very cute. The sister was definitely upset a bit because she was like, after Casa more happened, yeah, I was ready to fly to Fiji and pack your bags and then we were going to fly back home because he was playing with it. And she was like, you know what I mean? You have one card, one chance to mess up. You don't use the card. There's no more options. There's actually no more chance to mess up. And the brother, he was a bit apprehensive. He wasn't all the way convinced, which I think is fair enough. As a brother, he, I'm assuming he's an older brother. You know what I mean? That's your baby sister. Like, I feel, I feel him. I feel him. Then Cordell enters and he's very, very nervous. And then he maybe says a swear word. And the brother was like, yeah, not in front of my sister, my niece. Like, I think he was definitely trying to, he wasn't trying to G-check him, let me not say. But like, I think he was definitely trying to apply a bit of pressure. But, um, yeah, you could just tell that she has such a supportive family. Then the mum's letter I thought was extremely sweet, extremely funny. I thought it was just a great letter. And it was just definitely warming. I know it was warming to Serena's heart. But also, um, the joke that the mum said that she went, she was ready to pull up to Fiji and throw Cordell in the fire pit. I know that's right. Mom, I know that's right. I know that's right. And I think, yeah, you could just tell her family really, really loves her. And I thought that was super duper sweet. And he, Cordell did mention that he's maybe considering moving. I don't know where Cordell lives at the moment. I believe Serena's from Texas. So we'll see. But again, they do have a good relationship. And they're seeing them kiki keying. They just have such a good time together. And I think who wouldn't want that out of someone that they're with? Like, who doesn't? And then it's Cordell's turn. And um, we see his godmother. I, I feel like his godmother. There was something about her that was so sweet, so wholesome. There was something very, I don't know, nurturing about her. I don't know, sweet. There was just something about her that I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I like that woman. I feel like I like that lady. And then the dad came out. The dad was looking good. Like, the dad was looking good. Like, it's, the dad, it sounds like the dad got hella kids. They got, there's a loads of siblings. But daddy was looking good. Um, and he was definitely being supportive. He was like, I love seeing you guys' connection. The way you guys are all geeked up. Like, you need to be friends first. And I think that's so key. Even though, of course, they, can, they went through they went, what they went through. But I think a lot of people just get with each other because they have chemistry. Or they, like, they want to be intimate. Or they have physical. Or they like what each other looks like. But I think them like Cordell and Serena actually like each other as people like they would be friends if they weren't together you see what I'm saying whereas a lot of other people you wouldn't say like you you I don't think Kayla and Aaron would be to get um be friends if they weren't dating each other I don't think so I don't, I don't think so I don't see it I don't see enough of what they have in common to justify that but that's just my own opinion and then we see Odell Beckham Jr he comes and he's super duper supportive so that is Cordell's older brother and I believe Cordell is 22 and Odell is 31 so there's a nine year gap 
And I think he said a lot of sweet words. He was very supportive, very encouraging of their relationship. And Serena got to meet him, which was very, very cute. And he invited them to a game. I don't know what team he plays. Wait, okay, let me guess. The Miami Dolphins. Is that an NFL team? Now, guys, I don't, I don't watch NFL now. But is he a part of the Miami Dolphins? Let me check because I could go find that one out. But that's the only NFL team, if it's even an NFL team that I know. Oh, yeah, it's... Okay, it's the Miami Dolphins. Okay, Nicole. Okay, Nicole. With a little NFL trivia. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't watch NFL, but I just, I've heard of Miami Dolphins. And then they know the Miami Heat, which is a basketball team. So I was like, it must be. But anyways, that was very, very cute. And then in tomorrow's episode or in tonight's episode for you guys, we find out who is going to be dumped. Of course, there's only five couples left. It needs to be four in the final. Of course, Rob and Casey are going to be dumped. So now they can really whack one out um, if they want to in the privacy of their hotel. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.